Mario Puzo's The Godfather, one of the best-selling books of all time, with more than 10 million copies in print. A book about a particular segment of our society, so unique and accurate in characterization that its impact has been felt over and over again throughout the world. I think the important thing, uh, I think the thing that made The Godfather romantic, I mean, it's sort of an odd word uh, to use, but it's... Actor James Kahn. I mean, when you put the book down, you kind of had the feeling of wanting to join this great organization. Michael Rizzi, will you be baptized? I will. In a dorm, some of it to what me fugari diable, after quarrier me dicim day. Michael, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Singer Al Martino is Johnny Fontaine. We Italians, uh, we have an old saying that, uh, that life is so difficult that we need two fathers. And I guess that's what's so nice about uh, having a godfather. How do you go about making a motion picture based upon a literary achievement of such wide acclaim? A book so dynamic that it created a new casting director with each new reader. That seemingly desirous and impossible task fell to Oscar-winning writer-director Francis Ford Coppola. Every member of the Corleone family was thoroughly researched, tested, and selected from every available source of the entertainment industry. The role of Michael, the Don's youngest son, went to Al Pacino. In the family complex, there's a sense of trust. It's very powerful. That's what is preserved. An island that was invaded as much as Sicily. The people formed families so that they could have this trust within the family compound, you see. If you had this sense of loyalty, you could combat the invaders. She's been with a winner. So Singer Morgana King as Mama Corleone. He's always been uh, on top of the situation and uh, they have this large family of children that they love very deeply. Uh, she's very, very involved with uh, his life, but she doesn't involve his life uh, into the family picture. That's outside. It always remains outside. Hey, what are you going to do? Nice college boy, huh? Didn't want to get mixed up in the family business? Huh? Now you want to gun down a police captain one because he slapped you in the face a little bit? Huh? What do you think, this is the army where you shoot them a mile away? You gotta get them close like this, and bing you blow their brains all over your nice cyber league suit. Come here. Mwah! You're taking this very personal. Tom, this is business, and this man is taking it very, very personal. To visually create the realism of the book, 90% of the picture was shot on locations in and around New York City, including a secluded side street on Staten Island, which represented the Corleone family compound. Scenes such as this one between Michael and his girl Kay were filmed against the background of the wedding of the Don's daughter, a sequence which took a week to shoot and employed almost 750 extras. She really thinks Michael's gonna come out of this whole situation uh, to possibly run for the presidency. You know, she thinks that's perfectly logical that her son Michael could be the president of the United States. Uh, whereas Sonny, uh, Sonny's just a good boy and uh, she's probably been protecting him all his life against all of the hassles that he found to get involved with. Uh, you don't forget, two shots of peace in the head as soon as you come out the door. Huh? How long do you think it'll be before I can come back? At least a year, man. Listen, um, I square with Mom, you know, you're not seeing her before you leave, and, uh... I'll get a message to that girlfriend, uh, when I think the time is right. Life is brought to the screen more understandably and ominously than was ever thought possible. Barzini's dead. Today I settle all family business, so don't tell me you're innocent, Carl. Admit what you did. Come on. Don't be afraid, Carl. 
Come on, you think I make my sister a widow? He makes things come alive. If he touches... Actor uh, Richard Castellano as Clemenza. Feel the texture. If, if he tastes wine or anisette, you can almost taste it yourself. He plays a guy who's 65 years old, who ages 10 years in it. It's amazing. He comes in the morning. And he looks great, you know. He's uh, healthy and young looking. He puts on that makeup and for the rest of the day, he's sort of, you know, this old guy. I watch his scenes because uh, he brings a dimension to this Don that is so beautiful. Um, just, I love watching him. I love the character that he becomes. That man from uh, the other side of the world who uh, is very um, family orientated and family minded and everything he does is for his family and that's the way he extends himself to his friends and uh, I don't know, Marlon has that deep warmth. He really has that marvelous eye of an actor. This morning the Don died in the scene and it was heartbreaking to see this old man die. It just, you know, I didn't want to see that image go away, you know. It hurt, it really hurt to think that uh, Don Corleone was dead. See, there, there was a necessity for Don Corleone for Mr. Brando's uh, characterization. There's a necessity for uh, the syndicate. For if there were no necessity, it wouldn't exist. The making of a motion picture based upon a great novel as the tremendous problem of visually satisfying every satisfied reader. No role was more difficult to cast than that of Don Vito Corleone, the godfather. Actor Marlon Brando was director Coppola's only choice for that role. If he'd come to me in friendship, then the scum that wound your daughter would be suffering this very day. And if by chance an honest man like yourself should make enemies, then he would become my enemies. And then they would fear you. Be my friend? <laughs> 